I still find it difficult to relate to people at this stage of my life. It's an awful thing. Men, they are a minefield. I find myself watching all those relationship shows with that sex expert, Tracy Cox. <laughs> like that's her real name. <laughs> Tracy is that Australian woman who gives tips like, now I want you both to go home, get drunk and play Twister. <laughs> she is an awful woman, it is all bullshit, but still I watch it. I am so desperate for tips. She gives tips that are no good for the Irish market. She says things like, now, if you want to broaden your social circle, you've got to try something new. Why not try and meet someone at an ice rink or an art gallery? <laughs> now, the day that an Irish person meets a potential partner at an art gallery is the day that there's a whiskey exhibition. <laughs> because... <laughs> because we do not... We do not like to make ourselves emotionally vulnerable enough to say, to say something revealing like, oh, I like you. <laughs> Unless we are drunk and it is dark. <laughs> Which I think is a terrible shame because we are a sexy people. Look around the room. Look at each other. We're Celts for God's sake. We're Celts. This is the constant state of the face of the Celt. Look. <laughs> Teeth bared ready to rip the clothes off other Celts as soon as look at them. We are a sexy people, ladies and gentlemen. So why don't we have the sexy reputations of our Latin counterparts? I'll tell you why. Because the bodies let us down, don't they? <laughs> when an Irish person takes their clothes off, it's less like tantalizingly revealing the beautiful gift of your naked body. It's more like unwrapping uncooked chicken. It is not, it is not that we are not a sexy people, ladies and gentlemen, it is that we are cautious. We are afraid of getting salmonella off each other. 